No. You bought packs? They just milking? No. Yeah. Um, I asked my mom when I was really young why she does that. Or like, what is that? Or whatever. And then I asked her, can I try? And I was probably like seven years old. And she let me try. And I coughed. And I thought it was really nasty. And I never... That's what we call love. I don't know. I mean, some people are into that, but <laughs> it's fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them all. I'll text my no, friend. Just that like, one. I watched frogs have sex today. Be like, good job. You're growing up. Either that, or they're uh, conjoined twins. What... Yeah, they're uh, Siamese. I highly doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're Siamese twins. That bottom one really got the short end of the stick. <laughs> Now listen to this. You might have heard it. Maybe you haven't. But I told Whiskor the cleanest, dirtiest joke you're ever going to hear. You want to hear it? It is. And you know when we came upon it? It is. It is. We were down below and we were walking. And here, listen to this. I'll tell you. Here all it goes. There's a birch tree growing next to a beech tree. You ever hear it? Yes or no? You haven't. Okay. I can't remember. It's a huge beech tree. And it's a huge birch. These are virgin timbers. They're tall, towering tall, right? Big giant beech, big giant birch. And one day the sapling starts growing between the two of them. And the beech says, is that the son of a birch or the son of a beech? And the beech says, well, I don't know if that's the son of a birch or the son of a beech. He's like, yeah, I can tell. He goes, but let's ask that woodpecker. He knows all the trees. He's flying around the forest. He knows them all. Hey, woodpecker. Yeah. He goes, can you fly down there? And look at that sapling. And can you tell us, is that a son of a birch or the son of a beech? Because I'll be right back. And he flies down and he puts his pecker into that sapling and he comes back up and he goes, You know, it's not the son of a birch or the son of a beech. He says, But that's the best piece of ash I ever put my pecker in, he says. <laughs> Break him up and. about it and the old history of the Tartarus cave said that if you crawled in 300 feet there was a room big enough for 300 people to dance in. The guys will go down there and I haven't been in it since we couldn't put a ladder down in anymore. <laughs> Mike I wish I would have known about this sooner because on that Wisconsin surplus they were getting rid of some uh, when you do uh, confined space entry, like at the city, walk in about uh, uh, four, maybe five years ago. Doing rocks and that yet? It does go a little bit past that, but um, we don't want you to go any further than that for right now, anyways. But yeah, as soon as you get past the, these first couple sandbags, take a look up. That's called the people dome. It's almost like a, a people on a door. Yeah. You know, you, it's small, but then it opens up on the other side. It's, it's basically the beginning of a sinkhole forming. Uh -huh. And you'll notice the 
rot in there as it's kind of fractured and coming through, coming down. But then uh, where the next sand beds are back there, um, that's uh, greater <coughs> crevice stone. Uh, it's about five feet in length, but five foot high. Uh, just past it, I don't think you can see it from there, that's a uh, lesser crevice dome. And in between these, just past this first dome, there's another one called, uh, uh, well, there's a couple different names, but it's kind of shaped like a helmet, so it's called the helmet, most people call it the helmet dome. But yeah, go down there one at a time, check it out, it's, it's worth trying to go down and see. I mean, you won't see any water back there. The spider right there. These marks, those are survey marks that are in the black. Maybe uh, was actually surveyed some years ago, but it doesn't include this here, this new passage, and it doesn't include the one that we'll be seeing in a little bit either. I'll go check it out. Well, we took out, in a 15 month period, we took out about 50 yards of the sediment that were 32 good years. Uh, about I don't know, oh, here. Cut it in half and use that as the first few steps and kind of cleared off some of the soil and such and easier access because before all, it was very unsafe. Just a gradual slope of muddy sediment, you know, and just took care of that. This is the, the famous old Tartarus where you sh showed the picture back in 1905. This we have documentation way back into the 1800s. There's pictures of it. Super old. <laughs> <laughs> right as it. <laughs> Jump into the water. I hate to put the tick collar on, but I heard from people living nearby that it's, got tick it's on me. bad here. Yeah, yeah. it's got tick on me just yeah. like five minutes ago. Right. You yeah. did? You yeah. Found, yeah. I found one on my hand. I suppose we should do our best to it. Preventative care is the best care. What if
care is the best care.